Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Extra Channel, where we put things like this truck reveal, because it's not the main channel, because we also have a main channel. And this is the, the moment house, you've been sorry. waiting for, yep. if you like trucks. Because I do. <laughs> Three, two, one. Boom. Some of you guessed it. This Man, is... it all, all of you guessed it. All oh, of you, actually. Yeah, you guys are too, you're too clever. This is a Ram 1500 Laramie. What That's the trim. Okay. What yep. does Laramie mean? Well, it's that means that I didn't want the limited or the Longhorn because there's too many flourishes. Okay. I wanted some nice stuff, but I didn't want it to be too cheap. But I didn't want it to be too fancy, and I wanted it to be right in the middle of kind of the price range. But you must you must be out of your mind for buying an FCA product that costs this much. I leased it. Ah, there it is. And it all comes out. Yeah. Don't yeah. You? It's a lease. It is a lease. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> ask me some questions about it. Uh, uh, what's the name of the color? Wow. Stumped him on the first one. It is diamond black crystal pearl and it cost $295. All right, how much was it? Not the color, the car, the actual truck. Um, well, uh, it was $87,435 MSRP. That's quite a lot for a truck. Yeah, but it was technically kind of used, so I got a bit of a discount on it and they gave me a great deal. Okay. Yeah. So this um, is interesting because yes. we tried the F-150. Yep. And we didn't wait for the Lightning. We didn't wait for the Lightning. I still want to drive the Lightning very much. It didn't have the range for the tra for the trailer. Well, we, we probably not. We might Unknown. We might still try it. Unknown. Yeah. Um, we tried the Tundra. Yep. There's a new one coming, but we didn't want to wait. We didn't want to wait. We tried the Ram Longhorn, which we really liked. We really liked, but it was too much money. Yeah, and it looked like a Universal Studios ride. Yeah. <laughs> Did, yeah. Uh, we tried the Chevy Silverado. Silverado. Yep. Wasn't refined enough. Wasn't nice enough inside. No. And the GMC Sierra, same deal. Still a little. It still felt a little bit far behind. Basically, for the priorities we have. Yes. Trailering and comfort. And comfort. Because I because I needed to use this as a vehicle that we I use every day. So it needed to be comfortable enough that I could make phone calls in it and yeah. all of that, right? And you and Thomas is actually an expert Lisa, right? Because he just. You have this ability to just know exactly how many miles you're going to do in a year. Yeah. So what did you? We've paid for ten thousand kilometers a year. A year, yeah. Okay, yeah. and you got it a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. How many kilometers have you done? Ten thousand kilometers. You've done ten thousand kilometers. <laughs> it's we have, over. We have an issue. Yeah. Yeah. We um, have an issue. Is he's just been, you know driving it everywhere. It's comfortable. Okay. Yeah. And your one ninety E's crap doesn't have air conditioning. Okay. Be careful with the word crap. It no might, air there might be some crap in it, but it is. No air conditioning. It is. There's no air conditioning in it. The E forty six M three is gone. It's gone. This is literally your only option. Looks like I need to buy another car. So it's the worst. New video coming up soon. Um, anyway, so this I'm is. I'm carrying this channel. <laughs> he's just spending <laughs> Shut up, Mr. everything Audi. it makes. Right. Yeah, because you bought an Audi. The, the most reliable I bought the Audi of all personally. vehicles. I bought it personally. Okay, well, your next vehicle I is going to be an EV. It's going to be. You're going to buy it with. Battle House is going to buy that. Yes, I do want you. an EV. I yeah. do want an EV. Anyway, anyway. Opposite of EVs. V8 it's trucks. exactly the opposite of EVs. So here's the situation right now in Canada, at least, because of the chip shortage, you can't really build a, a, a truck. One of the reasons we didn't get an F-150. I may have leaned F-150 if I was able to get one, but I literally couldn't get one. There's none in the lots and you can't build them. This was a vehicle off the lot and I never would have spec'd it this way. Yes, because, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, because the only thing this is missing is a gigantic monster energy drink decal because this hood is horrendous. No, this is you through and through. It's so you've, not you've me. said many times you don't like chrome, so this is blacked out. Okay, it's right. The, you, yes. You think this looks cool. You think you look cool in Listen, this. Listen, this, 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 I don't think I look cool oh, in this. The build sheet's coming out again. Yeah, because I can't remember the name of it. It's called the Night Edition. That's what gives you this big ridiculous hood, which I would never have spec'd, but the Night Edition is actually great because it also gives you a limited slip differential, which is actually fantastic. You'll, you'll okay. notice how this has TRX vibes though. I kind of like it. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I just I wanted something a little bit more subtle. This is not subtle. This What's is, the power in this? This is the guy at, at the bar that gets a little bit too drunk and punches you in the face for no reason. That is 100% what I thought when I met you. I was like, <laughs> that, this is that, that guy. That is not true at all. Honestly, so what's the power in this compared to a TRX? Um... <laughs> 5.7 liter Hemi V8, mm -hmm. eight speed automatic transmission. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea how much horsepower it has. Is it enough? Yes, it okay. is enough. Is there anything unique about the rear? Is it, does it have this, the... No, so I didn't get the Ram boxes. I couldn't find one with Ram boxes and okay. the split gate. It doesn't have the split gate. This is the split gate, which is not... So you didn't get any of the things that we liked? I did get one thing I liked. I got air suspension. Since it's okay. the lease, 
I got air suspension. I was very happy with that because it it will raise up and down. So you know, you, yeah. for for different types of driving modes, there's an entry and exit mode and all that stuff. And the ride is super nice. Would you like to experience it? Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. Okay, so other cool stuff in here. Since I got that night edition package, it has these leather fronted seats that are cooled. All okay, right. And they're very, very comfortable. So you went full luxury? Not full luxury. You can get even more. Like there's a there's like the, the steering wheel on the limited with the wood on top, right? Oh, and, yeah. And like all the other stuff. Anyway, it has 90% of it. It doesn't have adaptive cruise control though. Oh no. Yeah, I know. I it's just I couldn't managed to you can option it in this trim but i couldn't find one that had it it this also is, has this really cool sliding center console which this is, is huge. this is a rough dirt road and it is taking it so smoothly yeah 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 the, the ride is the oh drifting you're drifting drifting that's that lsd oh yeah huge oh. slide crushed yeah, it yeah yeah no seriously though you can, you can you can leave it in two-wheel drive even when it's raining out and it's never been an issue I, but it does have the four-wheel drive auto another reason i wanted this over the silverado because that's just like a classic like you know, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive configuration, right? I think I think the big thing here is is the F one fifty was like kind of the, the front runner with, with with this. Yes, and because they, they've both been updated, and I still I still would very much consider owning an F one fifty just because of that starter that like generator thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. The, this the, doesn't have anything close to the that. The power on board. And I have been TM. Yes, I have been using this for racing weekends. Right. It's been great. It tows the, my 20 foot enclosed car hauler with the race car and everything you need for a race weekend. Absolutely no problem. Avec le horrible gas mileage. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. So just I've averaged 13.8 with mostly highway on the way here, liters per hundred kilometers. Yeah, that's not that great. That's not that great. No. There's a cover on the back. Does that come with the uh, car? No, I got that put on. I got a tonneau cover put on. Do they, they don't come with the covers? Uh, you can option one through a dealer, but right. like it's a dealer installed thing, right? But no, I just went to the local whatever place and got one installed. No, it's nice in here. It's obviously not as as lavish as the Longhorn with the brown and everything. This is the black. Pretty... No, but fundamentally, it's the same level of it's the same suspension. It, it, both of them have the uh, the double glazed glass, right? Right. So they're both very, very, very quiet on the highway. The seats are the same, and they're incredibly comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's very. Comfortable. You can do long distances in this. Well, truck also, like we're going to do long distances as a team. Yes. And we're going to sit in the back, and there's the there's the sunroof. Yep. The sun, I would never have optioned a sunroof personally. No, because you don't care about the team. <laughs> I'm not a team player. Another, another example of me carrying. <laughs> okay, I see. I care. Do he, James cares. Everybody. What did Harrison have for breakfast this morning? Harrison had a uh, egg McMuffin. That's true. Yeah, that is true. That's right. See, I knew that. Yeah, maybe uh, you shouldn't eat healthier. <laughs> Harrison, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. The, the rear seats are actually quite comfortable. They recline a tiny little bit, and they they fold up, and there's a space underneath them to hold stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff that I like. I love this infotainment. It has, to be 100% transparent, glitched out on me once. Okay. Where it was playing music on the radio and Apple CarPlay at the same time. Oh no. So it's two songs playing at the same time. I had to start the car over, but it hasn't messed up since that. Other, otherwise, it's very, very nice. You have Apple CarPlay up here and you have whatever else you want along the bottom. It responds very quickly. Okay, so, so I just want to paint a picture around cost. Yeah. Because it's so rare that you and I own a car that we've paid for. Right. And so it becomes a big thing. So this is very expensive. It is It is too expensive for what it needs to be. And we discussed yeah. this a lot. And we, we debated, do we just get a $10,000 thing yeah. that just will carry, that will tow? Do we spend $30,000? And it, it came down to the point of like, it, it was just very much a, a decision of comfort and what are we going to get out of this? How much does it cost if something breaks down on us? Yeah. Because, you know, we're, we're at a point now where even though our team is small and we have five people, we do put a lot into the productions and we will yes. pay for trips and we will get everyone there. We're not going to skimp out. So yeah. it was one of those things where this just matched what we have invested. It, it kind of matches our philosophy about putting everything we make back into the channel. Yeah. And, and from the, for the most part, you're kind of a, when we're not filming, you're a man in the chair, sort of, so to speak, right? Yes. Yeah, if there's, if there's like a, a, a Wait, does that mean, does that mean you're the cool agent in the field? <laughs> no. You're no. also the man in the chair? No, I'm a man in this we chair. Need, we need a spot. I, I mean, I'm a man in this chair because I usually have to go get something or pick something up or whatever it is, yeah. right? And, and it, I can do phone calls from this truck easily, comfortably on the highway. Yes. Phone right? calls are important. We literally wrote a script while I was on a phone call in this truck the other day. Yeah. Right? It so, was terrible. It didn't turn out well. So. Otherwise, there are, like, there's not too much other stuff I want to go over here other than the fact that this is 
I think, the most comfortable and quietest truck on sale right now. If but, that's what you're looking for, this does that better than But what would you say to the, to the truckers out there who would say that you're a big pansy for choosing all the comfort things and that's not what a truck's about and that's why everyone's going for comfy trucks these days and you're raising the price of trucks? I'd say they're right. I, I am, a, don't, I don't want to be super uncomfortable in my truck. Yeah. I've, I've become the guy that gets in the truck and is like, you know what? This is all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually kind of comfortable. I enjoy this. Um, now, and listen, from an ownership perspective, I've heard horror stories about the air suspension on these in Canadian winters. Yeah. Absolutely dying. Well, we'll document. We, I'm 100% we'll going to yeah, check out our Instagram and we'll, we'll, we'll let you know what happens with it. Uh, but as far as I can tell, other than the fact that I put way too many kilometers on it since I've picked it up, um, there, I've had no issues. Zero issues with the truck. There's now 10,000 kilometers on it. Uh, other than the Apple CarPlay screwing up once, nothing else has gone wrong. You're, you're really going to have to sort this lease thing out. I, I don't like, know. Like, we're I, not joking. We're He's not joking. Done I'm the whole idiot. year. Yeah. yeah, I'm a massive idiot. I don't know what to do now. Okay. I've never leased a car before. Well, we hope you enjoyed our truck buying series. I think we're going to move on to an EV for me series. And yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're going to test as many EVs as we can. We've already tested the, what's it called? The, the, the Volkswagen. And we've done the Marquee. And the Marquee. Yeah. Neither of those are the ones you want to buy. Which is a real Mustang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a good EV, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. We're going to try the Ionic 5. We're going to try the EV6 from Kia. Yep. Anything that comes at us, we're going to try. And then maybe, I don't know, one day we'll do an EV truck buying series as the sequel. Oh, yeah. You just combine them all. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's soft, isn't it? It's just like butter. It's just soft. Yeah, it's Everything's nice. soft. It yeah. matches your personality perfectly. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't you tell me that you owned a fight once, and then instead of punching back, all you did was...